It's true, Mother. Victor is married to a dead woman. I saw her. A corpse. Standing right here with Victor. Victor was in your room? I have to help him. The scandal! Oh, come sit in your chair, dearie. You're shaking like a leaf. Let Hilda fetch you a blanket. Fetch her a straitjacket. She's completely mad. Come, Hildegard. Miss Everglot, what are you doing here? You should be at home, prostrate with grief. Pastor Goldsworth, I have to ask you something. This is most irregular. Please, I beg of you. You are the only one in the village who knows of what awaits beyond the grave. A grim topic for a bride to be. It is a bride, I fear. Which is why I must know. Can the living marry the dead? What on earth are you speaking about? Please, it's Victor. He's married to a corpse. He has a corpse bride. There must be some way to undo what's been done. Mm. I believe I know the thing to do. Come with me. Victoria, where are your corpses? She's speaking in tongues of unholy alliances. Her mind has come undone, I fear. It's not true! Let me go! Let me go! Thank you, Pastor Goldswells. Thank you so very much. Take her to her room! No, I'm telling the truth! Victor needs my help! Hildegard, you believe me, don't you? Mother, Father, please! Seal the doors and bar the windows. See to it that she doesn't escape again. He Will the mortification never cease? It will be years before we can show ourselves in public again. What shall we do? We shall continue as planned, with or without Vincent. Victor. Whatever. For that boy to toss aside a young woman like Victoria, it's positively criminal. Why, if I had a woman like your daughter on my arm, I would lavish her with riches befitting royalty. Your lady wife is a most fortunate woman. Alas, I am not married. I was betrothed some years ago, but tragedy snatched my young bride away. When one lives alone, wealth counts for naught. Marvelous news, Victoria. There'll be a wedding after all. You found him? Make haste, my dear. Our relatives will arrive at any moment. We must have you looking presentable for Lord Barkis. <gasps> Lord Barkis? He will make a fine husband. Aye, a fortuitous turn of events indeed. A far better prospect this time. But I do not love him. You cannot make me do this. We must. Please! I beg of you, there must be another way. Without your marriage to Lord Barkis, we shall be forced penniless into the street. We are destitute. But, Victor... Victor Van Dort has gone, child. You shall marry Lord Barkis tomorrow. According, According to plan. I read the signs. One day, I fear, your daughter will betray you. I trust her loyalty more than I trust yours. 
<laughs> oh, my dear. Oh, don't look at me that way. You have only to suffer this union until death do us part. And that will come sooner than you think.